Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Well, kind of a strange thing today, Justin Sun has injected a ton of money into TRX, basically artificially pumping the price by buying TRX at Binance to support USDD coin. Now, the weird question is, if he's re really deploying this much capital and USDD coin is only worth $720 million altogether, why doesn't he just use the money to actually back the USDD reserve and offer a one-to-one -one redemption? Because as soon as you offer a one-to-one -one redemption and you honor that offer, people are going to have confidence in your coin. Like USDT has actually built up a ton of confidence in the coin itself by offering the one-to-one -one redemption. People were like, oh wait, I can just exchange one USDT for a dollar. Why would I ever sell it for under a dollar? And that actually kept its price back up. So I'm wondering why Tron doesn't actually do that. If they actually have $2 billion in reserve to actually support $700 million in USDD. But no, they choose to deploy it in a different way. So Tron's TRX token rose as much as 27% in the past 24 hours, and it rose because they're artificially buying it, as its ecosystem stablecoin decentralized USD, USDD, inched closer to its intended dollar peg. But it really hasn't inched any closer. It's actually further now at 97.16 cents, and it's been depegged for quite a while, which definitely worries me. I mean, what Justin Sun is doing to me doesn't make that much sense. Um, if you can just back the coin at yourself. Tron DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization that oversees the development on Tron, said in a Wednesday's tweet that it sent over $120 million worth of USDC to Binance to purchase TRX. But if you just use like, you know, $700 million of USDC to actually back up Tron, it would be a fully backed and it'd be completely pegged, creating buying pressure among traders. And since, uh, since USDD is actually sort of backed by Tron, pumping up the price of Tron will help um, USDD. Now, this could be a desperate last measure or a desperate gasp, or they just don't really understand like how to build confidence in a stablecoin. Not really sure which one. The Dow later sent another $100 million for TRX purchase. So they're basically trying to boost the price of Tron, and that's actually why Tron has pumped so much. But it could be a last desperate measure. So like to safeguard the overall blockchain industry and crypto market, Tron Dow Reserve have transferred 120 million more USDC on Tron to Binance to purchase TRX. So they're taking more out of the market and they're pumping up TRX price by directly buying Tron. Uh, there is no ambiguity in this. They have openly admitted it and that's really their plan to rescue USDD and the ecosystem. TRX rose over six cents in Asian morning hours before a brief sell-off at the time of the writing. The token was trading at four cents in European hours Wednesday. Futures tracking and tokens saw some eight million in liquidations, one of which uh, one of the highest major among major cryptocurrencies. Additional demand for TRX likely came as traders tried to bring USDD back to its peg amid a broader market run that saw Bitcoin and other rise over 6.3% and 11% over the 24 hours. USDD fell as low as 91 cents this week amid con contagion risks in the crypto market and weak macroeconomic sentiment. USDD is an algorithmic stablecoin on Tron and relies on automated balancing mechanism that involves minting or burning $1 worth of TRX to create one USDD. So obviously pumping up the price of TRX increases the collateral for USDD. But I really do think they should just vary the collateral to include USDC as well. Uh, because if you do that, people just have more confidence in your coin. So this could just be like desperate attempts to rescue USDD. I'm not really sure if they're doing it the right way. Like someone like Almeida Research could just short TRX into Oblivion. And if they actually do that, then USDD is going to dump into Oblivion as well. Um, earlier this week, Tron founder Justin Sun deployed over $2 billion as traders deemed or seemed to short TRX. So he's trying to counter that short, but I don't know like if he's if anyone ever has enough money to completely counter the traders. Funding rates or interest rate paid by traders to borrow capital for trade to a short or bet against. TRX features reached a whopping 500%. Sun said the capital was intended to fight them. So he's trying to fight the short people, but if the short people have more money than he does, then he's kind of screwed. On the other hand, if you just back USDD with the USDC you have, I think you'd be perfectly fine. I think like, you know, he can do whatever he wants with the other 1.3 billion, but with 700 million, he should just back USDD just in case, you know, because the only way you can, if he does that, the only way you can really get rid of USDD is basically take down USDC, which would have to, you have to take down the US dollar. And the government's not going to allow you to do that. If someone tries to take down the US dollar, the government's going to send the ninjas after them before they allow them to do that. So right now, like, I don't really know if they're doing it in the best way. They're trying pretty hard, but it could be a desperate attempt. 
So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.